What's going on everybody? This is your host Manik and welcome back to yet another video. So if you have watched my previous video, then you already know about the last Oxenos 11 update for OnePlus 8T and how inconsistent it was overall for this device. So it looks like we have a fourth update in four weeks, and it is indeed getting hard to keep a track now. But I'll try my best. So today we have Oxenos 11.0.5.6 update for the OnePlus 8T with quite a few of bug fixes. and i hope things have improved with this update so let's get right into it first of all to get this update i would recommend you to check in system updates and if the ota is available for you it will show up on your screen else just download oxygen updater application from the google play store now open the application hit the download button and this will download the zip file of this update so once it's done simply go to settings now go to system choose system updates from the list and click on this gear icon on the top right corner now choose the zip file we just downloaded so click on okay button and it will start installing this update now give it a couple of minutes and hit this reboot button and there you go you have updated to the latest version but i would seriously advise you to wait for the ota notification and then update because in case there is an issue with this update then your device will be excluded from the list of affected devices and also a full review of this update will come after a couple of days So make sure you wait for it. Now let's check out the change log. And first of all, I'll jump into the network part. So it looks like they watched my previous video. So the first issue that I reported with the previous version was this black screen while making network based video calls. So that has been fixed with this update and I'm quite glad to see the fix in a week or so. Good job there by OnePlus. The next change mentioned is optimized network stability and thus I'll have to test it out because I was indeed facing issues with voice over Wi-Fi after the last update. So I'm turning it back on and I'll let you guys know after a couple of days about my experience with it. But I'm quite optimistic about it now. Now coming to the camera part. So the camera app has a couple of fixes too and the version of application has bumped up to 5.6.43. So indeed some changes have been done and here are some camera samples. So as per the change log they have improved white balance and overall image quality. So I do see minor improvements here and there and the auto exposure settings are doing a better job now. Though let's wait for a few more days. So you guys be the judge now. Now coming to the system part where we have the most bug fixes. So first one in simple terms states improved fingerprint accuracy. Though I never had this issue on my unit and it was fast and responsive every single time. So hopefully everyone is in the same boat now. The second change is with media scanning feature and in theory it should result in faster processing of your files and in turn decreasing the search time. Coming to the next one and it looks like the word further was added to improved power consumption and battery life. So this doesn't necessarily mean you will get better screen on time. And that's why let me be the judge and we'll get back to this point in future. All right, so the next change basically deletes app cache now after you uninstall an application. So in case it was being missed earlier expect that to be fixed after this update moving on to the second last change and that is with the fingerprint scanner as well and there used to be a screen flashing issue for some users when they unlocked their device with this in display fingerprint scanner so yeah hopefully you will not encounter that issue now last but not the least and this one seems like a mandatory line so this states optimized system performance and improved system stability and everything is fine for me as such and no app crashes or anything as of now so overall it seems fine and there have been no heating issues as such too but let's wait and watch and before i sign off let's check out the benchmark scores shall we so with the previous update the geekbench scores did increase a bit to 890 in single core and 3 to 35 in multi core department and as of this version looks like the single core score has improved even more So now we have 895 in single core department and 3 to 26 in multi core score which is a slight dip but nothing big. Anyways, that was a long list of bug fixes with this latest Oxenos 11.0.5.6 update on the OnePlus 8T. So if you have any other questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for now. Do press the thumbs up button if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.